Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more Tainted Grail. And since our run with the Blood Mage was going so well, I thought we'd just uh, continue on this adventure into zone number two. So first of all, we did grab as many um, candles as we could. I do think that's pretty important. And I guess we can go over here. That uh, actually looks like an extra free candle. I will take that. Let's see here, lose it and receive a candle, number eight. And then always minimize the minimap. And that looks like a first target. So let's get to right in front of it. Activate the next candle. And we have a whole host of evil with a blood altar behind it. Perhaps some free healing. So let's get going and let's see if we can uh, get this uh, up and running. So tank is up. Damage wise, he can tank it. Now you generally want this guy to die first because gets stronger when they die and replaces them with summons. Um, but yeah, you don't really get to choose uh, in this uh, particular setup. So we can though get two Bloodworms up and running. And then we can get ooh, all enemies stunned for two turns. Let's try that. Oh. God damn it. Well, at least he won't do anything. <laughs> All of these guys are actually immune to stuns. Uh, our tank gets this. And this guy gets extra damage. And yeah, that's not bad for an opening turn. Uh, so let's get going. See what they decide to attack. Oh, well, alright. So far they have attacked this guy, which is interesting. Um, could get some extra activations. I think, let's see, damage-wise, we're still safe, so I will use this. Go, go, go. And now I, I receive this for some reason. Um, we'll reactivate you. And then, yeah, just grab, maybe put a barrier on my tank just in case. And uh, don't think that's going to pass, that's all okay. Reduce, I don't think we need that here. Let's go. More damage. Unfortunately, it looks like those guys are gonna get wrecked first, which means we do get those summons. They grow, so next turn is a lot of damage. But we also risk. So I'm actually going to do this one now. Get that heal, get the next tank up, give him protection, then 10% another full yeah yeah we got to do that now that these guys are at four hits each so we're gonna use the magic winds which blobs that guy blobs that guy lots of hits all over the place still not exactly enough but then next turn we, we can do another heal if we want to and now they should still attack man attacking the wrong targets still not taking this guy down Tank taking a little bit of damage, but doing okay. And uh, let's take a look. Okay, at least now they took someone down and then they disappeared. So that's the problem. Um, two golems, two four. It's a little bit of attacking, but he'll survive just fine. And I also get quite a bit of barrier from this that apparently remains. Um, so, hmm. Well, let's give him the barriers. And oh, I could have I could have done this again. At least take well, no, you offer five HP. So I'm not sure if I should have uh, drawn into that. He heals. They'll do their attacks, which I wish he would retaliate. But all right, this is our target anyway. Uh, so we can grab him to make sure we hit something. Twenty-seven to thirty-seven. Um, can I still? Yeah, I can still do that. So I can get the blood fey up, and then I can actually sacrifice him look at that his damage is way down um, lower cost is fine all right let's do this good hits that's all fine uh, we get that awesome summoning card and now we can start to activate well activate him so that uh, let's do this as well that should be enough although well, we couldn't get to a heal anyway. So, I'll take it. Next level. What do we get? Uh, a dagger. 
And then here, this again, every hit received uh, or awakening promote and activate all minions. It can be good, but as I've said, uh, I don't like it that much to promote them. Because you want them on the field as long as you can. So every overcharge heals all min minions to the max HP. Every minion starts with 15 barrier. After every overcharge, gain one energy for your next turn. Hmm. So now this could, yeah, this could maybe be good. Although we haven't needed it just yet for later down the line, that could be good. Plus one energy. Yeah, not not really. I feel like this one, surprisingly enough, uh, is very balanced. And what does this one do? Of 2% of offered HP is turned into barrier. So the more I summon, the more barrier I get at uh, twice the HP. So that's not bad. Uh, so we're going to get the blood altar. We're going to pray here. Could do another level up. Remove a card, which we don't really want. All right, I'll sacrifice nine and get another level up. Which gets me black blood. Permanently reduce arm by 20 for each minion currently in combat. Okay. Whenever a minion activates, draw one card and gain one ultimate charge. But it is to... So that's activate a minion, heal it by 50% of its HP. I guess we'll take this to try and do more damage. Accept. Alright. Then we get three small ones here. Hmm... Let's see. I think we'll go this way first. Shimmering light. Kind of want to make sure I'm full on that. Let's see what we're up against. Yeah, two of these are pretty annoying. And then we'll spawn illusions. Where my AoE attack would be perfect. But yeah, we don't have that. So this is like a no-brainer. Permanently reduce the armor for each minion. So that's not bad, especially if I put up an extra minion. And look at that, that's a decent chunk of damage. So I'm actually gonna do... No, I can't do the Blood Golem and this. So I'm gonna do the... What's this? 200% damage this turn or gain. Right, I'll take it. Get the damage going. Um, I'll give him extra barrier. We'll put up the Blood Fae. Then we'll do this one. Uh, who do we want? Well, I think these guys will become the most annoying, so I'll do that. 80, minus 80, that's pretty big. A good protection, and then we can activate you for free. Good hit, alright, I'll take it. Keep hitting that one, that's, that would be awesome. Okay. Let's see, three, four, but we don't have a second tank just yet. So I'm actually going to sacrifice one of these guys. And then we'll put in another one of these. That one will guarantee the hits at this point, I think. Then we can activate the strongest one. Oh, that's good. She's down. That's awesome. So now I do need to hopefully get another golem opportunity so I can grab my heal. He should get me there or very close to it. Okay. Oh, those don't give me charges. All right, then. Uh, increases damage. Let's give that to the AoE guy because he'll be along longer. You can do two triple of those. And then we could get... I mean, we are starting to get low, but we still have this potion. So I'm actually going to use that on myself so that I can activate these guys. Bring them down to hopefully close to zero. What's this one? Oh, that one's still at 100. So that one should go down. All right, let's see. Oh, I wonder. On his overcharge. Does he heal if I let him go? Although, uh, no, well, basically, he won't last another turn, so I'll get rid of you. Like that. That doesn't matter that much. Let's do this. And that should be enough. Okay. In the end, I think we got quite a bit of HP back, so I'm happy with that. And we get a bottle for free again, so that's pretty good. Ooh, look at that. Um, quick drink, activate a minion for zero. 
uh, another one to increase their damage but a grim worm um, it's a free summon I'm gonna take that whenever a minion overcharge remove its sigils and return them to your hand the cost is reduced to zero so I could put all these but oh that's nice HP loss through playing summoning is multiplied by two and dealt as damage to all enemies okay whenever minion over gain one ultimate charge for each minion alive I'm going to uh, well no I mean it does mean that I can keep putting them on things but we do actually tend to um, to have them pretty synergized so I'm actually going to take the one where we, where we do damage and now extra HP would of course be pretty powerful and then this is like a quest line follow the lights possible HP loss well okay lost 5 HP I'll keep going my brave follower looking for this uh raise your damage by five okay i'll take that so you have to sacrifice a little bit of hp but that's a pretty nice buff and i think we're gonna try and clear up the left side first that's four of them okay let's give it a try we're here to test the claws let's put it through spaces and now i should have aoe damage uh, on these summons so that's five percent so let's definitely start with one of these and then they yeah all right oh for each summon even okay then do i have hmm let's see permanently reduce for each minion so i could either do yeah i'll do deal a hit gain 50 percent damage I'll, I'll do this let's see if it's always yeah it's always first the blood fade that's unfortunate but all right i keep doing some aoe um damage wise he can tank that so i'm gonna give myself the barrier then we'll do that because that's 80 gone who's got he has some armor so i kind of wanna let's see here yeah he has armor so i think most effects will be on that one that's done a lot should have maybe done that earlier then we get activate the minion activate the minion activate all of them for and 10 percent let's try it let's see if that does big hits on that one 154 that attacks no so it's only on my summons all right no problem i think we're good let's go now they should attack he can take it my big guy can take it my little big guy because he still needs to grow all right this is good damage wise he can still take that and we're gonna reduce that so that I can summon another Wyrm. We're gonna give him protection. So that's the sigil. Now we could activate everything, or we could activate just we're gonna activate everything again. Um, he sur yeah, he survives no problem. And then I'll uh, look at that's good. First one gone. Uh, yeah, he does most damage. Oh, good stuff. And then I can heal next turn. And then maybe we can... Well, it's going to be two turns. So hopefully I get a golem replacement. Let's see what happens first. Because now they they can't die now. In this phase. I don't get a golem replacement. But I do get plenty... I've got plenty of... Um, so we'll take the heal. And then that's just more hits. every hit received okay can i give that to myself no <laughs> had to try go like that give myself a little bit of extra barrier could have done that i get that every turn it seems which is pretty powerful but this will be enough to get them down to one and then they even get knocked out at the start of the turn as well so that was pretty good almost got a level Continue, um, take, not enough, but okay, we're at two out of three. And then behind that is a ruined home. I think we can like look for stuff. Let's do a hole in the wall. I got a warding lore. Is that one of these? No. Oh, it's this. Gain 20 barrier. All right. 
Okay, next, we get another. Ooh, this can be annoying. Uh, but I'm actually going to try to do this with the candle. With this candle. So, uh, so I get a neutral one, you could say. Gain 25% damage. But I should be able to use that. And then we get these two up. And now I definitely want as much damage as possible. Uh, he'll get hit, so that sigil makes sense. Do, do any of them have armor? That guy has armor. Um, unfortunately, I can't put up another... But I do get a heal out of that, basically. So I'll take that, reduce his armor. Give myself a bit of extra barrier. We'll leave that for the boss battles. And yeah, we're not gonna do that. Let's go. Alright, and here we go. We get our blood worm. So I'm going to sacrifice you for a heal. It's not a lot, but better than nothing. And we're putting this guy up. Uh, let's put that sigil here as well. Activate all of them. 10% HP again. Not sure I, I need to do that, so we're actually gonna just buff ourselves a little bit. Uh, and I'll give him a promotion so that I can get my next heal a little bit more quickly. Couple of hits. Okay, now he's a lot bigger. We can do one more turn. That's ooh, that's two to two, 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 two everything. That should be okay. And it should also all get rounded to him. Um, so I'm gonna give him extra barrier. That I think does make sense. Okay, and I know that the turn won't end because these guys keep spawning more stuff. So let's see if my tank does take all the hits. Yep, it does. And it countered a lot of damage. Those guys came to the end, but now I get a big heal. Look at that, back to full HP. Um, I don't have another tank, but right now they're not doing a lot of damage. Okay, we can become a little bit stronger. In case of attack, we'll do that. Activate. Get rid of stuff. Uh, not worth it right now, I don't think. Just eat some more of these guys. That's fine. And... Uh, that one will be okay. Deal one hit. There we go. <laughs> so that heal there at the end was really nice. <clears throat> we still have six candles. And uh, yeah, we also used one of these. Which is basically a lot of free light. Uh, cleansing. Activate two enemy. Activate one minion two times and sacrifice. I don't really like that. Offer 10% gain barrier equal. Invoke two. No, no. We're gonna take this one then. Um, we could reroll as well, but I'm not sure. You know, activations are pretty good, I think, at this point. So I'll take that. That's not a triple, but almost a triple. That's good. And then we can talk to the florists. Buy a bouquet is pick one card. I don't feel like I need more cards at this point. So let's go to this fight. Then we get another candle up there. Some rats. And on this fight, maybe... Oh, that you see, that's a lot of damage. Unfortunately, this doesn't help too much. But I also have this wooden flute from the rat uh, guy, I'm gonna call him. I'm not sure what his name actually was. And it gives me two blocks for free once... Uh, Per fight, so it's definitely pretty good. This guy can reflect, get protection. Um, do we have the one that reduces their armor? No. Do I do a synergy? Yeah, why not? It's also a little bit more AoE damage. Look at that, that's 20 on them, that's not so bad. And damage wise, I guess with an extra barrier, he'll be absolutely fine. Demon strength not needed just yet. Okay, let's see. 2, 3, 9, 11. 
I think that's fine. Now I can reduce armor, so we're gonna do that. Makes him a lot more vulnerable. He can become stronger, that makes sense. And I guess we'll try this one. He heals, that one gives me a buff. All right, let's just do some more damage, 80. So he should be fine. He's got plenty of HP and he should also counter all of these attacks now. So you attack twice. Like that, and there we go, get hit back. This will get very close to getting rid of him. Especially if I reduce armor even more, so I'm gonna take the heal. That's fine. Just to be safe, I'll put up this, this worm. And then a big hit. Yeah, that's plenty. Shouldn't even have done that. Should have tried to attack first, actually. There we go. Take that. Continue. That should be three. That's another dust towards 50. And who do we talk to here? A wrinkled creature. No, the woman. No. Oh yeah, um, let's take the left one. I got 10 healing, all right. Or 10 extra HP may maybe, I'm not really sure. Here we get another candle. Could take a stats boost, but I'm gonna play it safe. And then we'll explore at the back. So we did all of that. Um, maybe we will go this way first. Let's see here. And so the more you walk around with the candle on, uh, then you occasionally get that powder or something like that for the uh, candle maker. Next fight. Up against three. Let's do this. And so that's perfect to get that synergy right off the bat. And then you gotta decide, right? Uh, I'm gonna guess that we'll try and take a small heal. Deal one big hit that almost gets rid of him from turn one. I'm not gonna leave that behind. You can tank. That's fine. Okay, keep hitting your own totem. That's fine. You become stronger, you can counter attacks. Uh, who's Nobody's got armor, but he can take some more damage. Like that. I, three times 19, so up to 60. So that's still not enough, that's good, because then uh, I will be able to uh, sacrifice at least one of my tanks for a bit of HP. Yeah, and so now I can do this. Get a second tank ready anyways. Back to 95. Activate him. And yeah, we'll just, again, it's just to play safe, but uh, get a full AOE up on the boards. Okay. Give me another sigil, no. Create a barrier, summon a fae for free. At the start of each turn, promote um, promote the minion, which just accelerates them. So I don't like that. Uh, close leash, for the first two turns of combat, increase the damage of all minions by 100%. Over, every overcharge reduces the armor of all enemies by 10. When your HP is below all offerings, restore HP instead of hurting you. Okay, could be nice. First two turns, not that important. Do we overcharge that often? On a longer fight, we may. And then 10 armor is not bad. I'll risk this. Take. Merge. Continue. Let's see what the witch wants. Okay. What if Get a legendary card. Uh... Hold my skills. That requires HP. I can get a worm candle. I can remove up to five cards or I get a random stats boost. I need to... Uh, do I need to forget stuff? Is there... Stuff that I really never use? 75 HP though. No, let's just take a, a candle. Like that. And go for the next fight. Again, fully 
lit up. Okay. Uh, always welcome. More damage. Perfect. Stun all enemies for two turns. If I can stun all of these. Alright, that's pretty nice. Activate the minion. Uh, let's not rush. Because I kind of want a good heal on this one. If I can. Okay. So maybe I'll just activate him on this turn. Making sure that I can grab my heal. Uh, yeah, a bit more barrier. Why not? It's still a decent chunk of HP though. 30, 30. That's 60. And then turn after that, it'll be even more. But will it be enough? So it may be worth it to... Not... Uh, but then I'm leaving out the heal. Hmm. I'll risk it like this. That stuff gets negated. That's not good. At least those were some hits. Okay, so it's not great. But he can easily tank that damage. So you can still do some more. We definitely need damage. So do that. Do I want to activate all of them? I think I can. Yeah, because that stuff really absorbs a lot of damage. He's not getting too much, so we can tank this phase. Okay, take that one down, that's good. He can easily block all of that. And then they actually <laughs> take everything down before I do my heal. God damn it. But okay. Uh, that is not three, but all right. So you can see the damage does go up very quickly. Uh, let's see if we want to buy anything. Portion of strength, get extra damage, get armor or get 30 HP. Yeah, we'll take extra damage. That's fine. We're, we're having a good run, so I think I should invest in it. Next here, and then we just have this corner left. Should be good. Um, let's see. Damage-wise, easily tanked. So let's go damage as well. Anyone with armor? Yep, the, that guy back here. Let's reduce it. Let's give him some extra armor and then we'll just activate try and make sure we get a nice heal and he also hits random ones so that's definitely alright activate two random minions so he can retaliate it's good now let's activate and we kind of want him to do damage then. So let's give ourselves a little bit of this stuff. Could do damage, but let's not rush it again. Because you can see that's a lot of damage. Now they're hitting, everything is absorbed. Oh, of course, when they hit four, they're just gonna go completely nuts. So on this one, do I have, I have an activation that shouldn't kill all of them. Let's do that. And then I'm actually going to take the heal this time. I got plenty of HP. Oh, I can even put up another tank if I really felt like it. Or I can just do a, some AoE. Let's do that to play it safe. And now let's see if uh, they do get rid of everyone. Although this one is going to resummon stuff. Right. But they're still going. <laughs> All right. No incoming attacks. I can summon two guys. So that's fine. HP wise, we're still doing okay. Got plenty of barrier. Let's. Because that's a. Ooh. 
That's a lot. Gotta be careful with that one. Can I do anything? Yeah. Risk this, I guess. Okay. Take that guy down. Uh, still not. Alright, let's get more barrier then. And uh, just in case, like that. Like that. Next turn, they, they still activate, so we may still have it. Okay, we do. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Go like that. And it's done. Continue. That's not a bad one either. Create barrier, promote and activate all minions. This turn all enemies lose 50 armor and 50% damage. Let's take the debuff. Famish prisoner. Let's see if I can train. Gain 5% damage each turn. Every 10th hitting combat is double. Increase the maximum damage maximum damage you deal by 3. Let's the longer it takes, the more damage we do. I think that's fine. Then we get, I think, two more fights. And then the boss. Okay. Let's get this guy going. So, this guy comes back. This guy brings stuff back. So, very annoying. Uh, we are just gonna go again with the classic opener here. Synergy. Open this guy. Uh, Damage-wise, he should be fine. Since he gets a free barrier. Every hit received. Protection. And you can grow stronger. And we don't need to sacrifice even more HP and activate them again. They're still a little bit too weak. Go like that. Yeah, easily taken. This doesn't sacrifice anything, but it does reduce all their armors. That's big. And then we'll just ritual our strongest guy. And now it might be worth it to do that. Because we get more of this. They start to dish some damage. Let's see. Do more. Good. That becomes a different skeleton. Okay. Easily absorbed. Can I? Can I? Can I? That one should give me a full. So we'll do this. Yep. That's full. That one's down. Let's get some HP, get a tank back up, reduce damage of all enemies by 100%, that's like not really needed I don't think. Especially not if we can clear the board. There we go. Alright, Blood Mage working out quite nicely so far. Sacrifice the minion, permanently reduce armor of all enemies by 20. Promote the minion of fury. At the start of each turn, this minion increases its damage by 10%. Yeah, get that up on the first turn and you're pretty good. All blood golems are promoted after being summoned. Increase max HP whenever three or more minions are alive. Increase your damage by 25%. I constantly have three or more, so I'm actually going to take vanity for more damage. Uh, this, it is nice, but again, in drawn out fights, do I want my tank to be there uh, to be gone one turn quicker? I'm not sure that's the answer either. So let's continue here. Uh, let's see what we got next. Cursed healer. God I'm full HP me. actually. Let's see what he sells. Okay, I'll buy this just to have it. Um, this is like s potentially really powerful. And that's the treasure guardian and then the boss. All right, perfect order, I think, on this map so far. Okay, I do get this, thank you. Then I'll definitely take this one as well, like that. Uh, they do a lot of damage. So here, uh, we'll definitely take the revenge. And do they have armor? No, but having them take more damage does make sense. And I, I, I'm guessing here it's actually best to do that on him. Because um, he has the most HP. And so this reduction in... So that's 10. That's half my tank gone. But I think he'll be okay. Let's see. 
do your attacks he counters oh man down to 14 <laughs> all right store feature dominion increases its damage by 25 i'll actually do that on him since it's three targets we could try to heal him up we could go nuts i'm actually gonna use a demon strength here and we can do i think that's worth it yep there we go so we'll have enough i think this yep and then i can actually sacrifice him for a heal and i will just oh i should have probably done that one but i think if i end the turn they'll still attack and there we go minus under the armor so taking quite a bit of damage all right that went very good i did use a special card but yeah you actually have to use these resources uh, it's important and gold and two damage unlock a new armor slot for rune stones thank you that's awesome uh, which is this is actually the reason why i want to get those first so that i can get to three and basically get the full potential uh, i think we want this at the end of the turn deal one hit eight damage to all of them could increase armor not that important increase max hp with the sacrifice not that important uh, so we get those armor 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 and then heal after combat but yeah we, we have decent heals so we'll take that and then yeah let's get on the boss here make sure we're at full candlelight all right and so this guy um i think it should be doable except i don't have any good summons deal one hit or gain 100 damage i'll take that I'll give myself a little bit of barrier i'm going to dig let's hope that we get all right we get at least someone and then i'm gonna put up a second tank offer 10 percent invoke i could have done that that's true that's not ne needed now maybe next turn would be good but uh, okay let's see here tanks should be fine a little bit of damage like that uh yeah we definitely want another worm up and running that all went okay so we can just activate okay that was all of them 79 hp i'm actually gonna use that next turn and that's Okay, so he still survived. Let's do a fury on you. Give you extra armor. You can retaliate now. Can still activate the minions. I'm gonna activate the big guy. That's decent. We're still okay. Yeah, let's go. I think he'll Ugh. still survive. Only just. No, somehow he man I'm not sure exactly what happens but he just doesn't take a lot of damage uh definitely want the abomination i think more aoe i'll do this so he should still be up one turn 418 Ooh. all right maybe the armor helps i guess let's see oh it's I, i've got two tanks there we go that's what's up. Okay, good hits. Both of them gone. Okay, let's see. 214. I got a decent chunk. So I'm gonna get my two summons up. Then we're going to do. Uh, yeah, this guy pretty important not sure who's gonna take the hits here but let's assume it's him as well 10 percent hp activate all yeah oh and so these golems do hit uh, heal at the end of their life all right so now that is different they may be getting them at level two straight away is not so bad 50 percent damage next turn i'll take that so we'll do this 
Okay, it is slowly, we're slowly getting there. And that's so good, right? This is why I love that uh, mid slot, <laughs> you could say, that uh, armor slot. Because all of these little 1 HP things, you just counter them without any problem. Um, for each, so I'll get the Blood Fae up and running. Then we'll reduce his armor by a lot. Then I will... Do two random act... Oh no, I should have sacrificed first. Let's actually do that on him. And then, yeah, let's just do some more damage. Oh, <laughs> just one shot that thing. Nice. And then he did get hit, but he's still fine. And then we'll summon you. We'll do a ritual on this. That should be fine. There we go. Boss defeated quite easily. Take another three candles. Continue. And so you can either take the weird stone heart or you can take a special passive skill. They're not always that great. So I'm actually going to take uh, the heart here. I feel like we're doing quite okay. And you know what? Um, we're just going to continue. Let's push through. Um... Master at arms. Actually, let's see if I got any of this stuff. I got 26 of them. I need 200 for more permanent upgrades, but they are pretty big, of course. Then on uh, you. Good to see you. 52. I can't really buy any of them. 100 for the next upgrades, which are pretty big, but uh, we got quite a few. Then did we get to 200 here? Yep, 208, so I'm going to increase my damage by 1. And so this is how basically you get the upgrades for the game. Could take a quick look at this one. It actually, okay, should have talked to him earlier. Okay, more quest stuff. Let's do talk, back, alright. Get a special card or gamble. No, I mean, we've got plenty of cards. Quick look here if you got a candle in this. Uh, buy consumables. Buy one item. Add an item to the shop for 15. Let's do that. See if it's anything good. Ah, not what I need. I've got 400. Oh, and what about the upgrades here? I'm at 2. So you, you basically need to save 100 gold at the end. And there, nothing I need right away. So let's go. Final map. Quick look around. Uh, I think Treasure Guardian final boss, there's a house, so we're gonna start in this direction. Start with a candle, that's good. Could take stats, but again, I'd rather play it safe on the candle front. Let's go for this guy first. Roaming Warband. Um, okay. That's as good as it gets. You get protection. Their damage does go up significantly. Every hit received. And I'll sacrifice for some free hits. And so that we can heal up, hopefully. Let's go. And here, honestly... Uh, the advantage of these summoner classes is you don't have to pay too much attention to these guys. Maybe a decision can be made like, alright, I want to put up uh, an extra tank or something like that. But, you know, you just you have to hope that your tank can basically take it. Um, increases damage. Let's give that to you. I randomly activate two. Or sacrifice another 10%. Let's do that. Let's get... Let's get crazy. He gets a heal, so that's pretty good. That means he easily survives this. And we can activate. Kind of want to make sure he stays up, so we're going to do this. And then we still have more stuff. Honestly, then the promotions, use them on the imp, so that you get more of these charges more quickly. Next turn, let's see. Can they take something down? They did. He's still at 50 HP. That's pretty good. And now we still have four of them. So I'm gonna do this. You're gonna take some, do some extra damage. 
that one should be down as well. Um, oh, Force 26 is mine. So he sur should survive that. And then I again want to see if these guys survive long enough. Which they may not. They don't. <laughs> if it auto heals when these uh, tanks come to an end. So maybe on the next one. I try to do double tank or something like that. Okay. Grim Golem. Makes it be better for all minions. Activate two random minions. This is not bad. Um, more go golems. Hmm. I honestly think I've got enough when it comes to summons. I've got 10 of them. Although it's only... Well, I, I start with the golem, of course. And then the two pillars. So I'm gonna take this one. And then we get more stuff. Then of each turn he gains 10. Activate a minion. Heal it for 50% or blood rush. I'm actually gonna... Take Blood Rush on this one as well. More activations. Uh, start every with two energy. After every overcharge, gain one energy for your next turn. Or all Blood Abominations are promoted after being summoned. Let's do that. Because their damage at the start is very low. Now we can merge again. Gonna get me very close to 50. And let's go. Armor, what do you have for me? Open the shop. Okay, yeah, we're actually gonna try and save some gold on the rest of it. That's still fine. Let's go attack. Um, yeah, thought about doing double tank. Looks like Heart of the Cards is not with me on that one. Let's go like that. Okay. Damage wise, he easily survives. So you can increase in damage. And then who's got. Not a lot of them have armor. So again, now I do have to make a little bit of a choice. This guy does become annoying. Tougher when they. So I'm actually going to do this here to try and get rid of him more quickly. And then. Eh, maybe not all of them. Because I do sort of want to heal <laughs> on this fight. Okay. Not really hitting the right ones. Tank is still up. This turn... Yeah, that's good. That means he definitely survives. Two random activations. I'll actually give him a little bit of barrier as well. And let's see what happens next. Okay, at least he got one hit in on that guy. And another one should go down now. He survives. That's good. 239 out of 400. Honestly, these guys are gonna get rid of them. So I'm gonna use the blood rush. Yeah, these guys go down, I'm pretty sure. So then we're gonna take the heal. Uh, and I think with this, we kind of guarantee that they go down. Because now I can end the turn and blah, blah. And he still needs to do his turn. Blah, blah, blah. Excellent. Yeah, we're starting to learn this one. And we get yet another level. Okay. Marking, redirect. Okay, that can be very good for this build because then you do have sacrifice a minion. Yeah, I'm actually going to take that because that does mean that I can now say, all right, go after this guy first, um, which hasn't worked so far. And the, here is where I'm saving money for. You have to invest up to 5,000 gold. For some reason, you can open up the shop now, uh, but yeah, that's not what I want. I want to invest and I'm actually going to do another 500, bring us at... 1850 out of 5k. Uh, activate a candle. Let's go here. Next fight. Summon, summon, summon. Uh, well, let's see. 
No, we need the damage again on this one. You do kind of want to rush this one, I think. So I'm sort of thinking go like this. This turn, yeah, we'll do that. Lose armor. Oh, should have done that first. Big mistake, actually. That's also a mistake. Could have done that first as well. Um, but all right, we'll take it. Tanks down. Yeah, we're doing good damage. Nice little AOE right there. Just in case you can do that. Won't matter that much. I'll sacrifice 10% HP for some damage here. Good, totem down. And then I'll just buff myself a bit. That's down. 210, he blocks everything. 100 damage to everything. Ouch. He does need to go down like right now. <laughs> so um, that's two attacks. That's another two. Yeah, let's go. Let's hope that we can get there. Ugh, it's not going to be easy. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, we should get him on the turn so I'm actually gonna take the heal and let's hope that they can take this guy down yeah there they go there we go perfect 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 end of the run right here just enough damage fully healed that's what we want to see at the start of each turn activate the minion okay for longer battles that can be good yeah I'm gonna take that it's basically free attacks Start every combat with two energy, plus two energy, overcharge, heals all minions when you have me. I guess we'll go like this then, to guarantee a good opener. It could make sure that I can always summon something. What does the bard want? Learn a new song. Oh yeah, so that's the guy I got the flute from. And we have more quest stuff to do. NPC saved. Invite him to the village. Oh! can get even more people to the village all right then we're gonna go over here we still have enough candlelight four enemies annoying little respawners a lot of them and then this guy okay might go double tank on this right also to see yeah I'll do that we'll go this we'll go that um, and we're double tank hopefully we push to that that round which I think we will place redirect okay interesting I could I think I'll do that on you make sure that uh, if we can get rid of one of them as quickly as possible these respawn these are spawn so kind of want that one to be gone first 50% damage next turn that's great activate all minions yeah uh, no actually I might gamble on this and hope that we hit him at least once uh, double so let's do that so that's not what we want that's what we do want okay well it's pretty much the same I think and then Worth it or not? No, not. I'm gonna actually wait it out here. Let's see. That's a lot of damage incoming. Let's see how he handles it. First tank is still up. You get to increase damage. Okay, this is big. Uh, reduce this guy's armor. And now I will do a full activation. Okay, that's almost done and might actually go down on the turn. Let's do it. There we go. Very good. Uh, that's always worth it, I think. You can get the revenge and the protection. Activate a minion. Take damage. I think I can afford that now. Uh, 
Oh, we can do even another one. All right, more damage. There are the respawns. So I do think these guys will get to four. Still surviving. That all looks just fine. Nope. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh, no, my damage dealer is gone. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. So, let's see if we can just get this guy to survive. We'll wait. And I'm actually gonna summon an extra golem because I think we lose everything uh, next turn. Let's see. They do attack for some reason, so do I. And then there we go, but we do get the heals. All right, that's nice, that's big. So then we get him, we get a tank up. Uh, give him extra damage. You can get the revenge buff. And stun an enemy. Not worth it. Gain 10 barrier. Not worth it. Let's just stun one then. See next turn. Okay. Oh, those guys have armor as well. Let's get this up. Let's reduce your armor. Next hit, but now we're definitely in control. Just means we gotta get through this. And normally, this guy will heal me up. Let's do this as well. Yeah, more spawns. We're still not there. They need to go down to 50. Something like that. Okay, there they are. I think I get a heal now. Oh, don't one-shot everything. Okay, hit. Overcharged. Back. All right, not... Yeah, there we go. He was gone. Right at the tail end. I basically got fully healed on the overcharge at the end. Excellent. Um, promote two levels. Create barrier. Draw one card for every minion currently in combat. Maybe on like a bad turn. Or maybe I'll re-roll. Activate a minion, draw a card. Activate a minion, heal it. Yeah, I'll take that. Pretty good. Yeah, I do feel like here you've got the tools to just build up your army, buff your army, and uh, get it going. Can I talk to you? I thought we made a pact. Okay, and so you have to. I think. Maybe you're there. Not. You go. Until, uh, you know, you get something else for her. All right, next. Uh, definitely use more of this. All of that's being cleared. Okay, next fight. We're doing really good, I think, for uh, the second hour. Pretty much of play, even less than that in total. Um, unfortunately. Oh, I could, yeah, draw a card. Or I can... Oh, we're at 5 out of, out of... So let's definitely do the double tank here. Because those guys hit often and a lot. I'm going to make sure I get this. That's not worth it yet. Alright, let's draw a card. Hope it's... Uh, nope, it's not a damaging card. So then I gotta go this route. That's good. Um, definitely give him this buff. That's only this turn, so that's not worth it. We could tell him to activate, or we could gamble. Or we could do... Nah, that's not worth it at this point. We'll just do a little bit of extra damage. Okay. Tanks, do your work. And so compare that to, to the previous summoner where I would have taken a real beating from this. Um, you can definitely use extra activations. Oh, and then I can't put up the room. That's annoying, but all right. Place redirect. So I can focus down or try to focus this guy down. Uh, I'll give him extra barrier to make sure he can survive. 
And then just... Yeah, all on that one guy, that's good. Big hit, he's still up running. Okay. Grim. Fey. Activate all minions. And now the damage does start to ramp. You get armor, so you take less damage. Let's go. Show me what you got, tank. Because that's 50, that's a lot. Whoa, just survived with 4 HP. And it all goes down. <laughs> right, we're actually at level 21 for the Blood Mage. Get an achievement there. Um, promote all minions, activate whenever minion activates. Draw one card and gain one ultimate charge. All right, I'll take that whenever minion is killed or sacrificed. Overcharge it with 200% of its effect power. Minions that overcharge are lowered to two levels instead of being killed. Ultimate ability gains one additional stage. 16 charges in total. Okay, increases by a lot more. Probably. Yeah. Um, but the respawn is interesting. Let's try that. Alright. Shadowy Presence. I found your son. Okay. New objective. Oh. Should I? No, I think I just got that and that's it. Next fight. With the blood altar. Okay, 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 okay. That's again a lot of damage. So we're gonna go double tank damage as well. Um, who's got armor? He's got a lot of armor. Let's reduce that. And this reduce armor until the end of combat. That's worth it. There we go. That's almost no armor left. I think my tanks should be fine. I'm actually gonna use this one as well next. Ooh, one tank is gone. Second tank only... Man, good thing that I went with two tanks. <laughs> good god. That was a lot of damage. Um... Maybe I'll actually do this and I'll actually use the wooden flute because I would not be surprised if some hits would come through next. Let's see. Activate all minions is good. Turns. This turn all enemies loose. Yeah, 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 okay. Definitely do the curse. And then we'll just do this one. Or do I want a blood vein here as well? No, we'll just take all the activations. Tank will be gone, I think. I get two blocks. It's not great, but let's see if I can survive it. Take one down. No, they don't take any down. Tank is gone. And then he attacks another one. Yeah, that's again that luck of the draw, you could say. Um... Yeah, right, why not? Does he still have this level? Oh, they're at four. So they're gone next turn. So I'll do synergy. <laughs> That's good. Can do that. Uh, give him that. And I think we'll be there. Except this guy just won't end. Or he will. All right. So much damage that uh, even that guy didn't survive. And reduces target's armor by 100 for two turns. That's not bad. But I'm actually going to take the stack father just in case for that final fight here. Let's do merge. Because like 4000 HP, I think, on the final boss uh, might be helpful. The Guardian. Get a small stats boost. Oh, yeah, that's the human livers. Uh, a free passive skill. Let's do it. After overcharge, gain one energy on your next turn again. All right. I lost 15 human lev livers. Uh, we're full on this. Yeah, well, we're just going to go for the treasure guy. Okay. Definitely want damage if I can. So that's not bad to have this and this. 
These three activations, I'll take it. Stun all enemies for two turns. I think the two little ones are stunned. So that helps my tank should be fine. Uh, you can take the retaliate. We still have... Whenever this minion activates, so he'll activate quite often. We'll draw extra cards. And then... I could still summon a fourth one. I'll, I'm gonna risk that, actually. It's not a good one. Well, it's an extra tank. Why not? Like that. And then we can still add a little bit of barrier to ourselves. Because we need... We kind of need the healing to get ready for the final boss. We, um, we, this is good, but... He takes a little bit of damage, but that's fine. He activates for free. I get a free card. Uh, damage is kind of important, so I'm actually going to sacrifice you. Why can't I put up the Grim Wyrm? I thought I'd sacrifice this guy. Oh, they remain now. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Important note. Your army is now permanent. So you do have to choose... Uh, activate two random minions. You can do that. That as well. Activate randomly. And then I'll give him a promotion. Do a little bit more damage. Let's see if he keeps his sigils as well. Okay, now what I do like here is that my two tanks are doing great. Yeah, and he comes back. Okay. Very interesting passive, that one. Very interesting passive. Let's redirect on the big guy if I can. And does he still have... Yeah. That's very good though. And so this can just keep rolling now. Okay, that's super powerful. And now I kind of want to... And then I can take a free heal, basically. Yeah, and this... Oh, man. This is it. <laughs> Except I kind of, like, don't want this guy put in the full AoE or something. And then we're good, I think. This turn all enemies. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Like that. He's just taking a real beating. It's mine. Okay. Not sure what the achievement is, but uh, let's keep him rolling. You found what was when you okay, get two damage. Unlock a new combat slot for items. A new okay, third rune slot for armor. I'll take that. Rune stone, which one? Gain armor. Gain armor. An another one with the hits. Yeah, let's do that. I think that means that uh, I do 16 damage to everything at the end of every turn. That's pretty big. Let's see what these two big guys want. So that's a lot. But let's remember now that my um, combo is permanent. So I can, I'll do this and this. I think that's good. It's only one tank. Oh, and that's how they can still die. But I think we got a lot of damage here. And then we can reduce this guy's armor by quite a bit. I'm actually going to take the buff here. See if we can't... Uh, maybe that's a bit of a waste, actually. Activate two random minions. Keep. Okay, now he comes into his own. I have to admit, that passive... Where basically I can use this and I, I still keep my minions is very big. Now, hope that he survives. But look at that crazy damage. That's just nuts. That's great. That's really great. All right, let's do that. He can retaliate. Um, I'll sacrifice that in order to get him a heal. I think everything goes down actually. No, so I'm gonna take my free heal. And then we're gonna hit you down. 50 damage on that, but it's fine. He's, he's gone. <laughs> oh my god. That was nice. 
And uh, here also something that I'm hitting here now because I took extra levels so often. It makes the beginning of the game quite uh, easy. Um, but now I don't gain any XP anymore, I think. Uh, a certain druid asks you to come back. Quest in the flesh. Can I... Do I have any food? Okay, I actually do. I'm still hungry. Leave. Can I fight him? If you don't give him any food, I think you get to fight him. Uh, candle up. Next fight. Let's see. Okay. Um, Alright. Double tank. One main damage dealer. You'll need to get extra of that. When it activates, draw a card and gain one ultimate charge. Or do we activate stuff? I guess we can do that. Oh, we can activate him as well. Two pillars, not that great. Alright, let's go. Double hit, let's see. Alright, we can easily tank this. Oh, oh yeah, hits everything, redirected. Yeah, we gotta be a little careful on that. Um, okay, you can do that as well. And now... Yeah, let's just do damage. We get a second tank. And since you use a weak attack now. So they switch from AoE to weak attacks. This minion increases its damage. That's so good. On this guy, potentially that's huge, right? Let's see. 13 to 17. You guys heal. That's fine. Alright, and this is where a sacrifice card makes sense. Because if I had that, I could sacrifice him and then get... Um, an extra uh, damage minion in but now I, I can because of this so we'll do that 13 to 18 uh, yeah that's late enough we can do that let's take one of the big guys down first activation and we're at 85 I'm gonna take my heal there we go. My tank may get burnt. Yeah, he's gone. But uh, my damage is high. <laughs> Look at that. And this guy stays up 32 to 42. And I can buff him even more. Um, and then, yeah, I can do two activations. That should be enough. Oh, maybe, uh, again, I should have, uh, well, it's not enough, so it's all right, but I should probably have done this. And there we go. Yeah, I, I could have done two activations without losing HP. My bad. But, uh, yeah, Blood Mage, Jesus, pretty good too. Run down mill. Uh, still not letting, here's my invitation. Okay. Join the ceremony. Lord of the Black Skies. We've summoned you, Lord Death. It's always the same with you. Death snap. You death. And what are you? Okay, I honestly have death no idea. Chuckles. Oh, Death is here. Listen, I'll tell you what. Should I get rid of these ins Spare them. As you wish. It's on you to make with this. I got a death, death grimoire. You give Bad Moon Rising completed. What is a death grimoire? Can I see that? No, I guess it's not an inventory item. That'll be for later down the line. Then we get another fight here. Let's do it. Um, okay. Zero summons. That's not great. But alright, let's do this. Okay, triple tank. Let's see. Definitely don't want barriers then. Gain one ultimate charge. That's fine. Can definitely have him evolve as well. Who do we... We want this guy done first, I think, in this case. No need to activate them. That's good. 
No need to activate them, so I'll get some extra barrier on myself. Let's hope for a damage dealing minion next turn then. And then I'm dealing the damage. <laughs> and we don't get the damage dealing, uh, but at least I can... This guy took the damage first, so you get this, because he was first, I'm guessing. Uh, increases damage, why not? Uh, okay. Draw a random summon. Okay, let's see if I can get... Alright, finally, a damage minion is on the board as well. So he takes some hits. But he also sends them right back to the big guy. There we go. That's good. Uh, increase damage. Increase protection. Over 10% of activate. That's not needed. That's not needed. Yeah, this is fine. Let's see if they can actually take this guy down. No, not like this. They won't. And then I could replace him. So this is not that bad. Um, okay, let's diminish your, okay, let's activate him, okay, mm, I'm actually gonna take my heal, and then I think we'll be fine. That's... So they do attack at the end of their turn. I'm not exactly sure. These blood golems... But alright, we're still good. You can definitely get an extra activate. Uh, I, I want to be full HP. I think, I think it's the boss next. That's a tank gone, and that's an enemy gone. <laughs> but I still had two tanks remaining, so... That was good. That was actually surprisingly good for such a bad opener. Um, the Candle Maker. Alright, let's see what he's got. I can look for them. And I get two of them, alright. Good. And yep, yeah, it's just a boss left. Full HP. Full light. Let's go. Uh, what was this guy like? Okay, l definitely a decent chunk of damage. Uh, that's not bad. Do I have the one? Whenever this minion activates, draw one card and gain one ultimate. So I'm gonna put that... Oh, no, actually, hold on a second. Um, yeah, this is by far... Um, can I get to four? No. No. I could get to four with this. Or I could take... I think getting this on my damage dealer is more important. So I am going to do this one on you. 2000 HP, so that's most important. Okay, you can do that. Retaliate on my tank. Whenever this minion activates, draw one card and gain an ultimate. Or we can activate, we can redirect. Reduce the damage by 100% this turn. That's a lot, but I'm basically gonna guarantee... No, not even gonna guarantee that my tank's gonna live. And we will take some extra drawing. Let's hope that uh, we'll be fine. And... If I can take one down, the one with the least HP, that'd be great. That's a good hit, but not enough. So there's the tank damage. Alright, he retaliates, takes one down. I'm happy with that, he's still alive. And this guy keeps attacking. I'm gonna. Oh, that's good. Second tank, let's go. Um... Yeah, we'll do that. Oh no, that was actually a mistake. Because now I am going to lose my tank. Luckily I got a second one. 
And I, I could have healed him back up to 80, which it would have been all right on this turn. Let's see if I can get a second tank up again. But this guy does start to do a lot of damage. Um, okay, you can get this. You can get that. I'm guessing it's better to have damage on the board than no damage on the board. Two, that should help him survive. 30, yeah, that should be okay. And he heals himself as well. So those are 45 to 60, four hits. He's at four, so he's gonna do that again now as well. And then he stays on the board and goes up to 95 damage. That is crazy strong. While the enemy is whittling away. That's worth it. Almost down. Uh, yeah, let's just give him a barrier. Let's do the heal. I think we're fine this turn. There we go. Oh my god, that was so good. And I get three more candles. And I get another merch. Very good. This feels like an echo of something that happened before. Um, I'm gonna take the heart. No, actually, I'm not gonna. I've got two hearts, I think. Um, so I'm, I'm willing to do one more turn. Um, and we'll do this. If you play two or less cards this turn, next turn draw two. Gain ten barrier for every fifth card played. Negate every hit suffered in the first turn of combat. So that's not too important. Could do extra barrier. Yeah, we'll do that. Not really useful. Should have taken the heart, basically. Uh, but can I see them here? Oh, aha, uh -huh. I don't keep them. That's interesting also. So that's why you gotta do. You gotta get the full run in. Let's see if I can upgrade something uh, here. Good to 64. No, definitely want to save up to 100. All right. Anything I want to buy? Not really. Let's just go for the final boss. Then we keep it... We can keep it under one and a half hours. We're definitely gonna push to full light. And uh, yeah, let's let's see if the Blood Mage can handle this. I still don't think it's as powerful uh, as the Bow character, but this does feel very powerful. So, we... That's not a bad start. His damage is not that great, so then giving this guy Fury is nice. cards you can definitely get to retaliate okay you can do that again that's not uh, yeah not necessary so I do think I want an extra summon pretty much okay I'll take that big damage is that 4k that does not work anymore so that's too bad I think it works this turn all enemies yeah that's worth it as well and then we're gonna reduce his armor down to minus 136 already okay let's go i think this is a good setup i can even keep healing myself just have to make sure that my tank survives basically which on this one he will uh, i'll take my free heal you'll get some extra barrier and this guy has the buffs so he activates. Oh, we can do the redirect. It doesn't matter that much. No, that's not needed. Uh, yep, more damage, more damage. Good. Four times one. Oh, all enemies. So he will redirect that. But we're still good. Definitely gonna keep giving him the barriers though. Don't want to be surprised. Yeah, this keeps happening. So this is a lot of damage. That's actually a little bit annoying. 
I'm actually gonna go with this. 500% extra damage. Give him more armor. And we're gonna try and do some extra damage. Go. That's... <laughs> 3 to <laughs> Okay, I think he's down. <laughs> he's down. There we go. Victory. And... Yeah, that was the Blood Mage. Which unlocks some extra stuff. Uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Blood Mage, definitely very, very strong. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.